the Catholic Church, who operates the highest number of schools and health facilities around the country, has raised serious concerns about the relationship they have with the government. General Secretary Father Victor Rots says unlike before, they feel that the strong partnership they have with the government is weakening. The political leaders, the ministers, they say the church is playing an important role, but they do not consider the, the church, especially the Catholic Church, the important uh, role player to be as a partner. So the consultation should be serious. In a media conference today, he says the church is now at a critical point of frustration. With the 51 million kina cut on budget for church health services and ineffective funding of tuition fee free funds, the church is losing control of the services. The general secretary warned that next year, Catholic schools that have no memorandum of agreement with their respective provincial education boards may not be able to open. So that means that the bishops really went one step further to say, if you don't come good accepting us as partners, then we are ready to close our schools in 2017. Because I don't think some of the provincial governments or even the national government, I don't think they are taking it, the Catholic Church serious. In 2013, during the bishops' annual meeting held in Medang, Prime Minister Peter O'Neill visited the bishops and promised to arrange a meeting with respective heads of health and education. However, to date, the meeting has yet to eventuate. And we call on the Prime Minister that he should have these meetings and consider the, not only the Catholic Church but also the other churches as partners. And these consultations will be very useful and will be very constructive. Father Victor says the heads of government, health and education departments seriously needs to meet with the church to discuss a way forward. Quinten Alomp, National MTV News.